Hi, I'm Gary White for, with Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Gene O'Dell, who's the, one of the master gardeners here in Bardstown. And we're going to talk about the Blooming Bardstown Garden Tour, which is coming up on Saturday, June the 8th. It's going to be the 10th annual. 10th annual, 10 years in a row. Fantastic. So uh, we have been fortunate enough to go and cover the garden tours for the past couple of years, and you'll be able to see it again this year. We'll have a little program on that. Good. But tell us, if people want to come and get tickets, mm -hmm. uh, how can they do that, and what can they expect to see? The uh, tickets specifically, I'll talk about tickets first, are on sale. They're $8 in advance, both at the uh, Welcome Center in the middle of town, and then also at the Extension offices at 317 South 3rd Street. Um, they are $10 day of tour, and pick them up only at the Extension office. The, the uh, Welcome Center doesn't sell them on the day of tour, which is the 8th of June. Um, as far as what you get to see, we have 10 gardens. Uh, seven of them are private. Three of them are public. We've got St. Monica's Vegetable Garden as one of our publics and a rain garden that the Master Gardeners put oh, together cool. over there at the, uh, at the skate park over uh -huh. by the school. Okay. And then a demonstration garden that is just right outside the extension office, which you will see uh, when you go uh, to pick up your tickets. Fantastic. So it's always really interesting to see the kind of various types of gardens. Because I know like last year there was the vegetable garden, mm -hmm. and then they had different kind of flowers, uh, shrub gardens, all that kind of stuff. You said there's going to be a water garden, right? There what is what is that? The 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 one garden that the the one water feature is what uh -huh. we're going to call them that I know of is a koi pond that he has a water feature, uh, uh, rocks and the water's falling off the rocks onto okay. into the koi pond. Uh, last year we had a, an, an, a water feature that just took up a whole block uh -huh. of downtown. But this year, I don't think we have that. We do have uh, in one of our gardens a, a, an acre and a half lake that the owners are going to let the uh, guest feed fish off of. Okay. And also at that particular location, she's going to have um, a, a company come in and start building a fire pit. So if you want to know how to build a fire pit, it's one of the gardens on the tour this year. Okay. It'll be going on all day long. Great. Now tell us a little about the Master Gardeners. We are a group of, of volunteers. We have to go through 40 hours of, of training with the University of Kentucky to learn how to be master gardeners. And then after that, we have to give at least 30 to 40 hours a year of, of volunteer time. And what we do uh, as master gardeners, in addition to the main fundraiser, which is the Bloom and Bardstown, we are able to give scholarships to high school students who are going to be um, going into a horticultural or an agricultural or forestry uh, uh, branch of yeah. school, exactly. So um, we do that. We also provide books for the library. Mm -hmm. And uh, any, any particular, uh, uh, anything that needs to be done in Bardstown Garden related, we mm -hmm. will get out there and do. We went out to the Welcome Center right. and helped Ann Ballard do all the, uh, the plantings around there. That's fantastic. Which turned out really well. Yes. <laughs> Now, in addition to the tour the day of, you also have a marketplace. We do. And that's going to be at the Extension office as well, yes, correct? Yes, it will be. Yes, it will. Tell us a little bit about that. The marketplace this year, we're going to have a, a silent auction, for one thing, and that will be inside the Extension office, have over 77 items available for bid in that silent auction. And then outside in the marketplace itself, we have local vendors that will be showing their handcraft, their their garden-related items, and, and there'll also be plants for sale. And then the master gardeners themselves have been really hard at work building, handcrafting, painting, creating all yard art, garden art that will be for sale. And we've gone into our own gardens and dug up plants and potted them for sale at the marketplace. We okay. also have a concession stand there if anybody gets hungry. And the 4-H the and Nelson County homemakers will have a bake sale. Great. So again, it's going to be on Saturday, June the 8th. What time? It starts at 8 a.m. at the Extension office. The tour starts at 9, so that gives you an hour to show up to buy your tickets. The, the or shop at the marketplace. Or, sh or shop at the marketplace or go bid in the silent auction. And also, and then it ends at 4, that you should kind of be out of the gardens by 4, but the marketplace closes at 2, at 2 p.m. Okay. That's the last opportunity you have a buy t to buy a ticket for the garden tour. Okay. And you can buy them the day of at the Extension Office, or you can buy them in advance, either at the Extension Office or the Welcome Center. Exactly. $10 either way, Ten, correct? Uh, $8 in advance. $8 in advance, and $10 yes. day of. $10 day of. So buy in advance and you can get a discount there. Exactly. And it's great 
a lot of fun, very interesting, and a lot of creative people all around this community. You have no idea how creative these people can yeah. get. <laughs> so come on out and see it. It's going to be the 10th annual Blooming Bardstown Garden Tour. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, it's Mary Wick, Central Kentucky Television.